Let me show you the huge difference between Vulkan Driver and OpenGL game scope. Basically, as you see here, we have Vulkan Driver active for DirectX 11. We have 60 frames and look at this immediately I will show you the OpenGL basically as you see 60 frames very stable Let's change it to Gamescope or OpenGL. And now, finally, I can uh, show uh, everyone, including those haters, why Vulkan is impressive in any game. For this game, look, I'm using Proton 704 and it will give me access to Vulkan Driver. If I deactivate this or if I switch to another version that will not activate the Vulkan, look what happens. When I start the game, I have these two options. If I go back and select compatibility uh, Proton 704, in general 704 will give you access to Vulkan in almost all the games. If I press play, now I have more options including DirectX and it will translate DirectX into Vulkan. That's why uh, it's very important for any game if you don't see Vulkan uh, displayed on, uh, on your screen or DXVK um, for uh, DirectX 11, well, just search for a different Proton. As you see now, I don't have a Proton selected. It's standard. If I press play the game, you will see uh, the game scope basically OpenGL in action and let's see what a huge difference you will see basically 30% um, uh, lower uh, results using Gamescope here in the left you see Gamescope uh, active the same game the same settings the game is uh, put to high graphics with Vulkan driver you get 60 frames with OpenGL game scope, look what happens. 50 frames, let's start and let's move the same, the same route, the same game, the same settings, look. Fifty-three frames, forty-nine, forty-eight, forty-three frames, look. What a huge difference, 40 frames. With Vulkan Driver, we had constant 60 frames. Using Gamescope, we have 40 frames, 40 frames. Basically, it's a huge, huge, huge difference between uh, those two. So uh, for those of you uh, posting bad or hateful comments related to my previous uh, info related to Vulkan driver, Vulkan API driver, well here is the proof, you have the game scope, when you install the game this is what you get for some of the games, other games are well optimized, they will know what to do and they will use direct X and they will translate it in Vulkan um, but some of the some other games they won't know what to do as you as you saw previously if if we uh, close this game and if we go here select properties compatibility select 
a version of Proton, you will see immediately a download for uh, for this uh, for this game. So um, this is it, 704. Now we will have access to Vulkan. Let me show you how to you to use Vulkan in any game. First of all, go in settings, go to system and select here this is very important beta for operating system um, beta participation participation you will use the latest uh, version of operating system for um, your steam deck everything is very stable but you will have access to vulcan some games will start automatically uh, with vulcan if you don't see in, in the game here Vulkan when you start it, if you see game scope or OpenGL, well, um, go here properties, go compatibility, and select here basically uh, a version of Proton that will allow you to use Vulkan. All you have to do is to to search one that will display at start here. Vulkan the XVK um, uh, VK D3D basically it's Vulkan for uh, D, uh, DirectX 12 so you see here the XVK basically this is Vulkan for this game so um, this is it this is probably uh, the best way to see the huge difference between Vulkan and OpenGL or Gamescope uh, basically, with GameScope, you get um, uh, you get forty something between forty and sixty frames, and with uh, Vulkan Driver, you get constant sixty frames in this game with high graphics uh, selected. So, um, my advice: every time when you start a game, just uh, search here. In the left and uh, just uh, just be careful to have Vulkan active otherwise um, you won't get a very good uh, experience with that game keep in mind that uh, a lot of AAA games with high demanding for uh, hardware they will need Vulkan in order to give you the best experience look how smooth everything is here constant 60 frames no changes, whatever I do here, and with uh, OpenGL, you, uh, we get here 40 frames, 45, something like this. This is a huge, huge difference. So, uh, this is it. Now, um, indeed, those of you that were uh, hateful in those comments, uh, denigrating me that I don't know what I, I'm saying, that... Uh, Vulkan is active in any game uh, now uh, we have the proof here I wanted to make a video li like this in order to demonstrate that um, some uh, some comments were hateful and um, those uh, persons those persons uh, they don't really have a steam deck they don't know what they are talking about they just uh, like to troll here and to post uh, those kind of comments without sense so um, from now on probably I will uh, I will ban uh, those uh, those users and um, they it's a lot of time to read those uh, comments uh, you know I read most of your comments I am sorry I don't have time to, to answer all your comments because I am here creating these videos um, and um, I'm glad that uh, some of you have the Steam Deck and you are enjoying it um, I hope um, you, if you don't have the Steam Deck you will receive it soon or you will get one Anyway, this is very important to use the Vulkan in any game. So, if you have some questions, uh, please write them here. I'll try to answer them. But in general, um, probably you know by now what to do and how to activate the Vulkan driver. 
if you don't have a certain version of Proton, you can. Uh, there are a lot of tutorials uh, out there, and you can install different version of Protons. Um, even in Steam Store, if you if you write uh, Proton, you will have the most important of them, and you can install them. Anyway, look here with Vulkan Driver, the game is running with perfect, uh, smooth, and stable 60 frames. With Game Scope, basically OpenGL, you saw 40, 60 frames, between 40 frames and 60. Uh, that is a huge difference, and uh, in other games, that is a very uh, essential difference between quality and uh, non quality. So, thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks.